Last year, you all left me feeling so inspired. You reminded me that our words and our stories really do hold real power. You were able to take hundreds of strangers, put us together in a room, unite us through the power of your words, and make us all laugh and remember that life is good. My one word for the Irma Bombeck Writers Workshop, valuable. As a relative newbie, I've had a full dose of the Irma Kool-Aid. The best part of Irma was being inducted into the Irma Nation. To feel like you're on the same page, pun intended, with both emerging writers as well as longtime award-winning authors is a confidence builder nonpareil. If I had to give one word to describe the Irma Bombeck Writers Workshop, it would be supportive. I wish I had the kind of information technology job that just eats up my brain and makes it hard for me to sit down in front of yet another screen and keep pounding on these day after day. Everyone at the workshop understands that and is cheering you on to keep writing. That community of support is the real magic behind the workshop. My word is help. Help on every front, whether you are writing columns, books, preparing workshops, even stand-up comedy. I have received so much help and connection through Irma, and you will too. My written humor wasn't even funny to me. So I shared my comedy at Irma's Got Talent, the stand-up auditions. The nice judges said it wasn't stand-up. I was telling stories, and they pointed me to the moth. Well, I found my comedic voice at the Dayton Story Slam, and I'm very grateful. My word is tribe. The three words on this coffee mug that I got at a workshop have changed my life. I've done stand-up comedy at Irma's Got Talent. I've been in four anthologies, and I'm getting ready to co-publish an anthology with the friend I met at Irma. I have found my tribe, and that's the biggest win of all. Irma Workshop to me is inspirational. Uh, I went to the 2022 conference, walked away with a book deal and some incredible friends who I still like to text with, follow on Facebook, and actually help make sure I get my book done. The one word I think of when I think of the Irma Bombeck Writers Workshop is humble. And that's because if you're too big for your britches, you are in the wrong place. Humility abounds. So don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be afraid to ask questions. I came by myself and I knew nobody in 2012. And now every time I go, I feel like I'm coming home because it's family. And I'm so grateful. One word to describe the conference, exhilarating. When I left the conference in 2022, after three days of nonstop vibrant connection, I was on the biggest high of my life. In fact, I was actually hoping for bad weather on my return flight. I desperately needed a holding pattern in order to capture all my thoughts on the incredible experience. Went to the Irma Bombeck Writers Workshop in 2014, 2016, 2018. One word would be validating and inspiring. That's an extra one. One word I would use to describe the workshop is inspiring. Some of my most successful short satirical humor pieces for places like McSweeney's and in New Yorker have been with people that I met at that first Irma. So it was a great experience. In addition to the technical tips I've picked up and all the networking connections I've made, I've learned that we all in struggle with our imposters. My imposter, by the way, is named Griselda. Even the most famous and successful of us struggle with our imposters. None of us are sure that the next book or story or article or even sentence we write will be read by anyone. But Irma helps me believe that they will. One word, inclusive. The, the conference is wonderfully inclusive and welcoming to everyone. My winnings led to the publication of four books, one flash fiction and three novels. Um, my writing career I owe all to the workshop and to Terry and to Irma. Going in, I was really nervous that I wouldn't fit in or that it would be awkward. I was a little afraid, but I made myself go. And I'm so glad I did because it was really inspiring. And I felt like I had found my people, which was really great. And I gained the confidence to um, finish a project I had been working on. And I published a book. It's called What the Farm? Poignant and Profane Stories from My Unplanned Life. And Irma made me do it. I was a three-time Irma conference attendee, but I cannot be there this time because I'm on tour. I'm on the Board Teachers Comedy Tour because I promised Wendy Liebman that I was going to go full time. I was a teacher for 20 years and I've always loved doing stand up as well. 
And now I am doing the touring and living the good life. And I thank Irma and all of the connections that I made at the conferences. And I thank all of the people that have come out to all my shows. I've done over 100 shows now nationally. And um, so many of the Irma sisters have come out. I want to tell you why I loved going to the Irma Bombeck workshop. I have been wanting to write a book for a long time. I've written a lot of other things, but not a book. And I always had excuses. I had excuses because life is hard. Life is crazy. Life is busy. Those are not excuses. Those are actually the things that make your writing interesting. So embrace them, but find the time because I heard so many stories of people dealing with things that were just bizarre and crazy who pushed through, sat in their laundry room underneath wet laundry writing. And it really, really pushed me to stop making excuses. Unless it's with food. Those are allowed. Eat what you want. <laughs> <laughs>